Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I asked you guys on Twitter if you'd be interested in seeing an unboxing of a new TV that I got, and it seemed like you guys wanted to see one, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox this Samsung SUHD 4K HDR TV, show you what's in the box, and also set it up, show you the stand, and also give you an idea of what the software is going to look like and the setup process is. So let's go ahead and open this up. Also, as a side note, I'm trying out this new mic, so hopefully there isn't too much echo since I'm in a bigger room right now. Now, to begin, we have the One Connect, which actually acts as a hub for all your connectors for the TV. So you have your cable, your one cable that's actually going to go into the TV, and then you have your hub right here. So let's open this hub up and show off all the various connections that it does have. So on the back here, you have your One Connect, which actually connects to the TV. You also have your uh, two, there are actually four HDMI slots and an antenna in. So you'll notice there's no ethernet. However, there is Wi-Fi on this TV, but absolutely no ethernet slot. There might be one on the back of the TV. I'll let you guys know once I get that out of the box. You've also got two USB 2.0 slots on the side. And on the other side is your digital audio out, your optical cable. And next you had a bag full of goodies, including the power adapter. As you can see, you also have a couple clips for some cable management on the back of your device. And then you have, I believe, some other pieces for your stand to make it easier to connect. And then two AA batteries for your remote. And speaking of that remote, it's very minimal. So you'll see volume and channel have just little switches that go up and down right here. And then you have a home button, play pause, back, extra, one, two, three, a mic for voice controls and a power button. And you'll also see it has a bit of a curve to it. So it's fairly comfortable to hold in your hand. I'm gonna need a little more time to it to, with it to actually determine if I like that curve or not. And of course, don't forget your user manual, important safety precautions, along with a microfiber cloth to actually wipe off fingerprints or anything you get. And then I believe a back plate for the TV to kind of hide your wires and just kind of hide the back opening. Next, you have a metal piece, which is part of the stand. There's going to be a matching one as well. And then of course, some screws. So I went ahead and took the TV out of the box, slid it on top of a carpet along with some other padding to protect it. You also notice the V stand that is right there. I'll show off me connecting it to the TV in just a second, but I want to take a look at the connectors right down here and you'll see that you have a USB connection. You have your external link along with a, an ethernet slot, which I mentioned earlier. And then there's that one connect slot where you're going to go ahead and put in all your HDMI slots, all that good stuff. And then of course with the back, it has a really sleek look to it, but I really don't care. The back look pink. It really doesn't matter to me because I never see the back of any TV. So now to attach the two pieces of the stand, it was very simple, just four screws right in the bottom right here. Make sure they are nice and tight, not wobbly at all. Make sure the two pieces are fit securely. Now we can go ahead and actually attach the stand to the back of the TV. All right, got the stand all connected, very easy. Just three more screws to screw this into the back of the TV. Very simple, make sure it's nice and tight. Nothing is loose and I think I should be good to go now. A couple of final notes about the back. This back piece actually covers up the back to make it a little bit more uniform. As I said, it really doesn't matter to me because I never see the back of the device. And also this cover goes right on the back here to cover up those screws. All right, so I have everything plugged in and ready to go with the TV. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the TV on for the first time. And then we're gonna run through the setup process and just kind of see how it interacts with all my devices. All right, so booting up, see Samsung, a bunch of different apps. All right, I'm pretty curious to see how well this is going to work setting up all of my devices. I connected all of them, including right now my TV box, Xbox One S, along with a Chromecast. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next, and we'll see what it uh, actually finds. And now it says it's setting up a wireless network as well. All right, so I went ahead and connected it to my router. No problems there. Now we have Smart Hub terms and conditions. I'm gonna go ahead and not read them and agree to all. All right, keep pointing my remote directly at the TV. So I'm just gonna kind of hold it right next to it, point it at the TV. So it sees HDMI Comcast 1, so it finds my setup uh, service provider. I do have uh, Comcast, so I'm just gonna select the first one. I'm not positive that's the correct one. Hopefully I can go back. And it found my Chromecast as well. My guess is I have to turn on the Xbox for it to detect. I'm gonna do that now. All right, so it didn't detect it, but it says you can add more devices later, so I'll go ahead and do that later. And now it says get the most out of it if you want to input your email address. All right, it says your smart TV is ready to use. Let's start watching TV. And there you have it. This would be obviously the football game right now. 
All right, so here's just a look at the channel listings. This would be when I press the home button, you can actually go through a bunch of various options if I wanna go ahead and set up Netflix, YouTube as well, Amazon Video, Hulu, HBO Now. Those are all connected to my TV, obviously since it's a smart TV. Here's another apps. I'm just gonna go to all the apps and see which ones specifically are available. All right, here we go. So you got HBO Go, NBA, NBC, YouTube. Let's actually go to YouTube and kind of see what that looks like. Of course, actually, this video I'm shooting now is in 4K, so you can now actually watch my videos in 4K if you'd like to. I'm gonna go ahead and search for one, and let's go ahead and watch it. All right, so let's just search for my name, loads up, and let's go to the unboxing of the Google Pixel. Now, I have muted the TV for now, and of course, it'll show up an ad, which is no big deal to me, obviously. I wouldn't be able to make these videos without specific ads, and here is the beginning of that that video looks like I can actually fast forward if I'd like to go ahead and load it up and there we go so this is actually very clear it looks very good um, this is obviously in 4k uh, let's go ahead and go down and there's other options where they give you suggested videos go back to this specific channel and watch other ones as well so a nice YouTube app Overall, if I want to go back and watch that video or just press the back button, I can as well. So you'll see I'm obviously in the YouTube app right now, but if I press the home button and go over to uh, input or source, I should say, I can go ahead and you'll see it recognize my Xbox One. So I can go to Xbox One, Chromecast, and Comcast, which are the three I have plugged in right now. So let's go ahead and switch to Xbox One. And there you have it. Got my Xbox One loaded up. Can go ahead and play some games and actually watch uh, HDR Blu-ray videos, 4K Blu-rays as well. So anyways, that is it. So that's my unboxing and setup of the Samsung 65 KS 9000. So drop a comment, let me know what you think. If you'd like to see a full review after I go ahead and use some more 4K content, there is actually a new Chromecast coming out that's going to produce in 4K. I'll review that on this TV. I still have a review of my Xbox One S coming. Lots more to come now that I actually have a 4K TV and can actually try out those 4K capabilities. So that's really about it. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it.